Greetings friends, welcome to my channel. It's Bright Bells, Joy Bells, and I'm here with an update on my macro. So I promised you a number two video. This is it. And as you can see, the salt that I packed in the cavity of the macro, it drew out all that water. You see that water in the bottom of my bucket, friends? Yes. So now what I'm going to do is to rinse the fish and I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to dry it and I'm going to pack it with salt and I'm going to rest it in vinegar, friends. If you have lime juice, you can rest it in lime juice and salt and cover it right there. Let it cure until you are ready to use it. Friends, you can put other things in there like scallions, pepper, thyme. You don't have to cut them up. Just put them in there just like that, okay? As time goes by, you will see how I pickle other meats and you will see the different ways in which I do so. Alrighty, so I am going to rinse my bucket out. I'm going to move my fish, rinse my fish, rinse my bucket, and I'm going to re-salt them and put them back. I'm gonna re-salt them friends, rinse them, salt them again, put them back, but this time when I put them back, I'm going to um, add the vinegar. And I know I promised you to make um, know a brine but friends this is what I'm gonna use to brine it but another time I'm gonna show you another idea okay yes so I'm rinsing my bucket rinse your bucket very well okay and rinse your fish very well Pack salt in the cavity of your fish and add vinegar and close the bucket. Simple as that. And my fish friend is getting stiff already. That's what you want, okay? Yeah, you want your fish to be on the stiff side. And if you want to keep the mackerel dry, friends, you could, but Bright Bells want her mackerel to be in the brine, okay? I want my macro to be um, nice and moist. If you want to do it dry, you can repeat the process with the salt and keep it dry. It will just stay there and get dry and get dry and get dry. If you don't want it to be too dry, you keep it in your fridge. Yeah. And all those nice oils are coming onto the skin, friends. You see that? Yeah. And I'm gonna add salt to the cavity, friends. And some vinegar, and that's it. I'm gonna close my bucket. And I'm gonna lock it. I'm gonna um, not close it, lock it, and then I'm gonna um, put it away, and then that's it. Okay, so let's go in with the salt. Let's go in with the salt, friends, my lovely friends. Redeemed, I love to proclaim. Redeemed, I 
redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Put a generous amount of salt in there. If you have coarse salt, go right ahead and use it. Okay, traditionally, they use coarse salt. If you don't have coarse salt, use any salt that you have on hand, friend. Even the Himalayan sea salt, pink salt that you um get in your gifts okay you can use them up it's okay so i salted it with a generous amount of salt i salted the cavity of my fish and now i'm gonna pour some vinegar on it use whatever vinegar you have it's okay if you have a cider, use it if you have rice vinegar, use it. Even the vinegar that you made from your ripe bananas, you can use it. Okay, friends? And bright bells is pouring in some vinegar. And that's gonna preserve it. The salt alone could preserve it, but I want it to be on the moist side, friends. And it's gonna stay there, friends. And the lovely oils from the fish is gonna um, just burst out into that vinegar and salt. And I think I better do a part three video for you in a few days to show you, okay? Just to show you what happened after this to conclude it so i promise my friends my friends a part three video Alrighty, this is bright bells joy bells i hope you're having a great day i hope it's a great productive day for you please stay safe be happy do good live good most of all love god okay bye bye